what's a good reptile show without a without a death adder, you know? Oh, <laughs> How's it going guys? Brian Cusco here at Triple B, back with the third video in the Pomono Reptile Super Show interview series. I was gonna wear this shirt, my I got only one snakes shirt, and then I found this thing last minute because I've been wearing the same shirt. Obviously I'm filming these monologues at a different time than the interview actually happened, even though I tried to make it look like my room <laughs> at the interview. Obviously it's a different time. So I was gonna try and match up the shirts, you know, and, and make it all work, and I couldn't find it, so I was gonna wear that one the last minute I found it, so now I, I suppose I have to find every shirt that I wore during the interview, because I was switching shirts like a madman. <laughs> anyway, you get the point. Today's guest, Mr. Dan Maliri. I know the last couple episodes you guys are probably like, where are the snakes at, dude? Is this a snake channel, or are we just gonna talk to people all day long? I get it, I get it, but if you watch the trailer for this channel, you'll see that a big part of it is meeting other people in the hobby, in the community, in the industry. That's what it's about. But today we get the best of both worlds with Dan because he does have snakes and we're going to be looking at them and you're going to get to check them out. If you find yourself ever having a lack of snake video in your life, just watch this video right here. Tons of snake in this video. Really cool too. I think you'll like it. Let's get on to our interview. I've been blabbing long enough. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Dan Maliri. You're watching Triple B TV. You're no stranger to this process any longer. Uh, what, what do you want to, what are you asking us about? Or what are you talking about? Is there any subject matter that I you're- I mean, are you going to be, are you going to be here for a while? Are you, you going to be like, are you going to stay at these shows for a bit? Are you planning to move to Indonesia soon or? Uh, we're moving to Thailand, Thailand at the end of summer. At the end of the summer? Yeah. No, I'm gonna, sorry, at the end of next summer. The end of next summer. Yeah. And then are you going to be still doing shows after that? Or are you going to be living over there pretty probably, much? Probably coming back probably for come back and do some maybe shows. these yeah. shows. Just for the, these? Twice a year, January, and then maybe get one of the smaller shows that happens right after and then uh, go back and then come back again for July and August because they're back to back. Okay. Yeah, I think it'd be worth it. That's good. I think it'd be worth it too because, uh, I mean, I, pretty much every time I've been here, I think even before I... I've, I've interviewed you, I think, every time I've been here, pretty much. Yeah. Because... Even if it was just kind of... Even the, the early days. Yeah, even when I was just showing like, up to your booth yeah, and camera like, hey, thank you, say something days. for me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. But yeah. Yeah. We've been doing it for a while. So. That's awesome. That's awesome. Well, because you always have such a plethora of animals, such a diverse group, something different that, you know, and that's that's your thing, kind of, is you always have something different versus what most people have on their tables, you know, the, the common things you'll see at most shows. I mean, like last time you had that dragon snake, and I've never even, I've never gotten to touch a dragon snake. I have snake. cool stuff almost every time. Yeah, and that's so, why, even that's this why time. I make sure we get to watch it every time, because there's always something new and I exciting I think it'll to get see. better when we're over there, living over there. I bet. And then, I mean, we're not gonna be doing animal business full time, not even close. We're gonna be traveling, I wanna push my travel vlog. I, I wanna well, I really, I wanna come visit that. you guys when- Oh when yes, yeah, totally. Yes, of course, yes. Yeah, yeah. We, yeah. Have, we have enough yeah. room for you. That'd be sweet, yeah, because yeah. then get we'll, some we'll local inside. put together on some yes. trips too, for mm -hmm. sure. That'd be but fun. I just yeah. feel like, Bouncing around between, because my suppliers, are we recording material yes. right now? For, okay. Yes, so. but I can cut, if you have something you want me to cut no, out, No, 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 I'm know. good, I'm good. Um, cause <laughs> I had to ask, because, <laughs> yeah, because, you know, reptile people, we just, <laughs> <laughs> um, my suppliers are my friends. I'm closer to my suppliers than I am to probably anybody here in the U.S. They're like family to me, so we're going to be visiting and doing stuff with them a lot. So. By me doing that, keeping those ties nice and tight and fresh and everything, I feel like I'm gonna be getting calls, you know? It's like, you won't believe what I got. You know, that kind of stuff. And so it'd just be a matter of making sure it coincides with show and say, hey, I just booked my flight, ship it. I'll be home after this date, but make sure it comes before these expo dates. And I think that's how I'm gonna run it. Yeah. Cause dude, come on, 21 years in business, I've built this thing up into something that's actually somewhat yeah, significant Yeah, that's, that's right why now, I so. asked, because I'd be, it'd be, this show would be missing something if you weren't here, that's my point. Yeah, yeah well, I mean, said, look, I'm not trying to sound egotistical, not at all, but 
I'm setting up and all the other vendors, they just keep passing by waiting for the animals to come out. Cause, and they, and they tell me, you know, they're like, I know you brought something cool, man. I can't wait till you put your stuff out. I want to see something I've never seen before. And it's like, I, I set the bar for myself, you know. Me too. That's and why so, I'm glad I haven't seen what's in this bag yet. I... <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, this, this next question, this next question is for, it's for the audience really. Who's more ripped right now? Who's rocking this tank top more? I think it's, I mean, I think it's a no, I think it's a no contest. I mean, clearly I've got it, but anyway. <laughs> no. Yeah, but you're in training for this big weigh-in. That's true. I'm just trying not to get fat because I'm going to be 48 years old in, in a couple That's of months. So, you no. know, I'm just trying to hold it together. I'm pretty sure that you got me beat. <laughs> Even when you're in relax mode. <laughs> you want to, you want to pull out the animals, man? Yeah. And check yeah, them you out? See it? yeah. Yeah. Apple knows. Well, she doesn't know what this is, but she's, She's gonna know real quick what it is, and it's not her have, favorite. Have you thing. seen all the animals that have that he brought to the show already? Or yeah, what? she kind of knows, but she didn't know what I was gonna bring to, mm, to show you. Yeah, so uh -huh. I, I didn't know these. Yeah, and so you know what? What's a good reptile show without a without a death adder? You know? Yay. Oh, <laughs> he said death adder. No, so this is a viper boa. This one's acting at this this very second very nice, um, but it is quite rambunctious, but this has, is a big, fat viper boa. Has this one had its shed yet? It has. Okay, okay. Yeah, it has. I was gonna say, because if it had, it has some crazy orange coming yeah, out of that belly. Yeah, it's beautiful. Probably the camera's picking it up real good right there, but yeah. I get emails for these almost every day for a long, 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 like, time running. Like, it's nonstop. And, and I'm always telling people, no, I don't have any, no, I don't have any. Well, this was kind of a surprise have a customer that I sold these to as they were about half this size, they were small youngsters, you know, wild caught. And um, he just lost interest. So he said, hey man, can I drop these off at your house and can you take them to the show and just, you know, make them gone for me? And so it's like, yeah, totally. So I've been telling people, no, I don't have any Viper Boas, but yeah, I do at the table. I'm gonna have a, I have a trio of Viper Boas. That's I'm cool. not people, trying to show up and be like, hey, you didn't happen to find a Viper Boa on the way home. <laughs> yeah, right, right. But that's a big girl, but pretty unique. And I just figure it would, it would do your, uh, do your channel good to get a nice fat, big Viper Boa. They totally look like Death Adders, man. Yeah. They really do. Yeah. That underbelly is something else. We actually saw a bunch of these. We caught a bunch and, and in the wild, not to collect, but just to, just to, to film and. It's, it, it, dude, you see him in that leaf litter, you're like, I, 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 should I, should I not? Like, what is that? <laughs> you don't it know it what takes it is. a minute. Yeah, you yeah. really got to be careful. They're a really diverse group. They have a lot of different colors, even different patterns. I, one of the ones on Kofiao um, that we captured on video is crazy pattern, very different. So that stuff throws you off too. It's a little bit, little bit freaky. You yeah, don't want to just yeah, reach down and grab stuff. If you guys are current on Dan's channel, uh, you need to go check out some of his adventures over in Southeast Asia, man, because it's, it'll make you wish that you were traveling with him. <laughs> yeah. You'll see the other one. I brought another snake. Yeah, you yeah, you yeah. Let's see out. the other snake. Are you, are you excited to be moving back to Thailand? Or yes, you, I yeah. am. Yeah. Yes. yeah. You got, most of your family's over there. Stuff, yes, yeah. So, to moving to Thailand, excited? Yeah, a little bit, not so much, but to have him a whole time with me, that's, that's count yes. a lot. Yes. So, because nowadays, like, I, he, his charm is like a go to work work. So, so you got to remember, like, me moving overseas, that's, for me, that's really exciting. Oh, yeah. She moved here. here. This was really yeah. exciting right, for her. Right, right, So yeah. moving back home, it's like, eh, you know, she, she does miss home. She misses her family and stuff, but we're going to be traveling a lot. Yeah. Yeah. And it's going to be a hell of a lot of fun. It's going to be a good time. Oh, wow. That thing is insane. Yeah. So, I mean, ground boat. Yeah, this is Paul, a pulse and I, a ground boa. This is one of the white Isabels, but this one is just a cut above. Yeah, Th this is. one is. I've incredible. never seen one like that. Yeah, that's the awesome thing about these I don't guys. Think this one they're, will so, get you. they're so variable. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I don't mind getting got. <laughs> it's just easier for B-roll if you're handling it. <laughs> right, right. But hands down, that's this is the prettiest one. This is wild caught. It has not shed. Um, when it does shed, it's going to be, I think, white, like white, white, white. Because this is the this is the dirty jungle skin, if you can imagine that. So you got to kind of do the math and factor it in. And this is going to be hands down probably the best white Isabel ever. 
I'm gonna have to keep track of where if you, you, this is available. It's for sure. sale, man. I was keeping it, but again, it's one of those things where it's like, I don't have enough time left to make anything worthwhile, you know? So Well, I, I need to know who gets this animal so we can get a shed update pick. Yeah. That would yeah. be sweet. Well, it might come home with me too, because this is not cheap. <laughs> <laughs> it shouldn't be, yeah. You know, I mean, it, it, it took, what, This maybe, thing is off the charts, man. Maybe fifty or $60,000 worth of imports to finally come across something one of a kind like that. Yeah. I think it's one of a kind because I see a lot of not a lot of white Isabel Island ground boas, but I've seen I've seen quite a few over the years, but nothing like this. Super docile for yeah, she's, wild she's pretty man. cool. Yeah. Great eater. It's fantastic. And they're so variable, yeah. Look at that. See this and this is this one just shed actually first and they're time. not and they're not morphs or anything, right? They're they're just so variable. It's yeah. just like but this is the only striped one I've ever seen. Yeah. They usually have that zipper, that zipper zigzag thing right. going on, but um, yeah, it's eyeballing you. You don't like that. It's dude. so <laughs> it's just so it's so cool how how extremely variable they are. Yeah. It's yeah. Then this was a wild caught too. When it first came, it was a little rough. It had a couple little yeah. I can scabs see it's been through some battles. Yeah. yeah. But that that first shed really a huge huge improvement, an improvement to the point where. I'm not worried about selling it. It's it's all healthy. Everything's good to go. But when it first came in, it was a little rough. I didn't want to sell it. Yeah. So I just kind of had her tucked away until she ate tons and tons of food and, you know, brought on that shed cycle. So it just happened. Nice, man. Yep. Thanks for always being here. Oh, for, for sure, man. Give us awesome I like content. It when you, I like it when you come down, man. It's cool. <laughs> yeah. It's cool, yeah. We like to support these yeah. 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 I mean, we're, it's, it's a busy, you know, we just set up the table. We haven't put any animals out yet. We have a lot to do, but um, it's always worth it to come out and do this, of course, yeah, you know. Thank you, bro. Appreciate yep. it. Likewise. Apple. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank, thank you. Thank <laughs> well, I hope you guys enjoyed that. Dan's always a good guy to have on. He always has some really cool stuff. And we got to have Apple today, too, which is also cool. By her own words, she said that she was just going to stand there and look pretty and not talk too much. So that was, I think she did a good job of that. <laughs> good job, Apple. Next week, we're going to be talking with Colette Sutherland over at TSK or the Snake Keeper. If you keep snakes and you haven't heard of TSK, maybe you should have. But hey, even if you haven't, then just watch the video next week and you'll find out all about it, won't you? Until then, you've been watching Triple B TV. Y'all take care. Hit record on the audio this time, Brian. <laughs> I already have one interview today and I forgot to turn those on. And we're not redoing it. I'm just going to hope that this picked up well enough. But it happens. Yeah, it happens. It, it's, happened. it's not the first time. and not going to be the last, probably. Yep. Yes, we want to be, be with our friends. Everywhere we go, we want to be with our friends. <sighs> oh, you pooped in there already? Gosh. Well, guess we know what that means. Everywhere we go, we want to be with our friends. <laughs> Welcome. <Whoa. clears throat> Super Lobo Dropper Dropper. What do you think about having a little bit of the camera right here in this shot? Is that is that cool or is it weird? Is it freaking you out? <laughs> I'm supposed to know how to do this stuff. <laughs> Why not? Right? Now I'll get some people. Uh, next week, we're going to be doing another interview. I guess I should look up who I'm doing next. I heard of TSK. Gosh, love it. <laughs>